Hi. Now in this video what I want to show you is how to work out the equation of a line. And more importantly I want to show you how you can do it via two different formulas. And I want to compare those formulas, the methods that uh, we use. Now to do this then we've got an example here to find the equation of a line passing through a point A with coordinates minus 3, 1. It has a gradient of 2, and what we've got to do is write the answer in the form ax plus by plus c equals naught, where a, b, and c are constant. Okay, so what is the general form of a straight line? Well, the first form that we tend to turn to is y equals mx plus c, where m is the gradient and c is the y intercept. Now I'll show you how we could work out the equation of the line using this particular format. So what we know is that the gradient is 2, so m is 2. So we now know that the line okay, is of the form, let's just write that in, of the form y equals 2x plus the constant c. Now we don't know the y-intercept, okay, so we've got to work it out. And to do that, what we know is that the line goes through this particular point A with coordinates minus 3, 1. So when any graph goes through a particular point, we know that that point satisfies the equation. So in other words, we can say that when x equals minus 3, y is equal to 1. Okay, x is minus 3, y is 1. And we can put these values into this equation. So therefore, what we have is y, which we know is 1, equals 2 times x, so that would be 2 times minus 3 here, plus c. So therefore we have 1 equals 2 times minus 3, which is minus 6, and then we have plus c. So if I add 6 to both sides, we end up with 7 equals c, or c equals 7. So that means that I can put this back into here and say therefore the equation of the line, okay, equation of line, is. And what is it? Well, it's going to be then y equals 2x plus the c value. 2x plus and c was 7. So that's essentially the equation of the line in the form y equals mx plus c. And note that this line would cross the y-axis at the coordinates 0,7. But that's not being asked what we've got to do is express the equation of the line in this particular format. So I need to start with the x term and the x term tends to be better always as a positive term. So what I'm going to do is subtract y from both sides and so that's therefore going to give me 2x minus y plus 7 equals naught. And I've got that in that particular format. If I was asked to state the values of a, b, and c, then a would be 2, b would be negative 1, I'm adding negative 1y, so b would be negative 1, and c would be 7. Okay, well, I've written that out as I would in an exam, alright? No shortcuts there. So, is there another way? Well, yes, there is, and this is the way that I always prefer using. Okay, and the particular equation or form of the equation of line is y minus y1 equals m bracket x minus x1. m is still the gradient, and x1, y1 are the coordinates of any point on the line. So, I have the gradient, the gradient is 2, and I have my coordinates x1 and y1 of a point on the line, x1 being minus 3 and y1 being 1. 
So if I was explaining what I was doing, okay, I could go straight in and say that the equation of the line, let's just write that, rather than doing it, always I believe in writing some form of intro. So the equation of the line is, and what is it? Well, the equation of the line is going to be y minus y1, y1 is the 1, equals m, we know is 2, all multiplied by x minus x1. So that's x minus, and we look at x1 here, and that is minus 3. So, if I was to expand this bracket here, I'm therefore going to have y minus 1 equals 2x. Remember this is plus 3 now, so 2 times plus 3 is plus 6. And then all I need to do is get this in the form ax plus by plus c equals naught. So I just need to subtract y and add 1 to both sides. So therefore I'm going to have 2x, then minus y, Remember, I'm adding 1 to both sides, so 1 added to the 6 is 7, so we get plus 7 equals 0. So, hopefully you can now compare the two methods, and you can see that this particular form of the straight line gives a much quicker solution. And consequently, this is the one that I always prefer using rather than y equals mx plus c. Okay, well that brings us to the end of this example and uh, hopefully, as I say, you've been able to see the benefit of using one equation over the other.